sorry. Bye, everybody. Gail. How you going? I'm just going to try and do this same thing that we did last week, which was be able to see the messages from here. It's a big so, week for us this week. Just been busy with a lot of stuff. It's been a... It's been like we've been everywhere. Yeah. I've been everywhere, man. Um, got some pretty groovy things oh. going on, though. So... Is it? Well, we have. Have um, we? Well, the stuff that we picked up. Venison. Oh, yes, we had it. Um, <laughs> some... Some fun experimenting to do. Warrigal greens from friends of ours as well. So we're going to make pizza pockets. And pizza pockets are yum-o. They are fluffy. They pull apart. They're um, full of flavour. They're fun to eat. They're fun to make. I made um, pasta last night, which was... Um, really fast and really simple using um, miso paste. Oh my God, I did this live cook along with Marion Gatsby, which was super fun. So, um, and it turned out really nice, but I've got a heap of meat left over. So I thought, well, let's make pizza pockets. So I've got dough, oh, which is in front of the- um, What did we put in them last time? We made them. Um, mints, but just like spaghetti mints, same deal, just not that clever one. Um, All I've got here is just some mixed herbs, some garlic and some butter that I've melted. Yep. Um, I've got to work out how to get back to here. Just one sec, guys. Jodie-Ann and Nick. So Jodie-Ann just threw a quick... What sort of dough did you throw together? Um, it's just a um, pizza dough. And I did it in the bread machine. So, um, yeah. Got some juice. I'll be about champagne now. Your budget. Live. Done. So we generally always use a bread machine and Jodie-Ann uses it to... Prep her dough and everything, even if she bakes it in the oven because um, it heats it up, but lets it proof. She's got it proofing right there. Yep. Look at that puffy little sucker. Didn't look like that before. No. So, and all I've done is take it out of the bread machine little mixer and stuck it in a greased bowl. And um, we've got the fire going in the lounge room, so I just left it on top of the hearth. So it's actually hot in here. Got a little bit of um, warmth to it as well. So we're going to rip straight into it because they're going to take about 15, 20 minutes in the oven and then we can sort of get chatting about stuff then. So I think I'll remove that because we'll go with yeah. the century old Tupperware um, dough. It's one of those things that you remember mum having, isn't it? Well, they're straight out of the 70s. I've got mine at the op shop. And they're good because they've got measurements on them. And... Exactly right. Well, that's so it's one of those jobs I'm going to have to pull the old sleeves up. And um, hello, Courtney, how come you're able to watch? When you're um, away. She looks like she's away travelling. She's well, been away. She's been to Mildura and she's been to Wentworth and Silverstone and all over the place. Where's the other place? So you're going to have to do what you do and just tell me what to do here. Yes. Yeah. So you're just going to roll out some dough into a little round. I've got the perfect batches. job. I have the perfect job for you. Uh -huh. Yeah. Where's that? Ah, champagne food on a beer budget, baby. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. It's on the door. She's on the door. So I need some flour because you want your dough to be a little bit tacky, but you don't want it to stick to anything that you're putting it on, obviously. So just throw some flour down. I'm just gonna plonk this out, cut it up into however many pieces I think are gonna work. There's no science to this again. Guys, if you wanna do a walnut size, do a walnut size. If you wanna do a golf ball size, do a golf ball size. Last time we did them in that round tin was good and fun to put on a table. Yeah, well, that was a bit of a different. That was the garlicky, cheesy. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. that's that a was, really good party. That, that was one. different. That yeah. one. That's so. Uh, Nick's talking about a bunt tin, and I don't think that this is the recipe for a bunt tin. No. A bunt tin's the the round one. It's generally got lines in it. And it's got the it's center. Like a cake tin with the center. With the center Very thing in it. Right here. And that other side. Yep. It's yeah. It's all tight. You guys there. know what it is. And we just made one up with garlic and cheese. So it's pretty much the same sort of a theory though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This one though, we want to roll out um, balls and uh, turn them into little rounds. And then, see these, I'm just doing whatever size sort of feels good. Um, and then we're gonna roll them out into rounds, stuff them with the meat sauce and cheese, a bit a little bit of ham, stick them in the, I've got a, round pan already in the oven getting warm as well because I want as much heat as I can get into it. And I've actually got a pizza stone in the oven, but I have a pizza stone in the oven all the time. So, cheers, thank you. Um, you can probably roll, actually. Do you want to roll? 
I'm not gonna roll. Do you want to give them some silver pad over here? Yeah. The old silver pad. Can't go wrong with these babies. Basic the little round roller. With a little bit of flour on it. They get stuck into that. And then we'll I'll tell you what I like to do. Oh, babe. Oh, yeah. This is another thing that Nick came up with. This is a good idea, actually. We did. We started this is using one of those things out of coals that you pasta. Maybe you don't pasta or flour in there. Just one of those. Just they are super handy if you're doing pasta because as your pasta comes out of the roller, you really want to um, throw flour onto it. So that's more like a um, sugar sugar duster. Yeah, it's an icing sugar dust or something, isn't it? Yeah. I should always keep it in the cupboard with flour. So we've got rain this weekend, guys, and plenty of it, apparently. We're helping someone move out, so it's a little bit of rain. Yeah, isn't that always the way? Thank you, whoever really come up with that. So how big about that size? Yeah, if you reckon that feels comfy. Can you guys see that? that? That's just yeah, a, you can. Just roughly roll it out. Then, then oh. I'll cut that up. So this is literally just some coals, ham, that I had in the freezer. I always make sure that I've got ham in the freezer in case you want that last minute toasted sandwich. So. Spoon for that. Spoon for the sauce. Bit of ham in the centre. Plonk. Literally plonk. So a spoon for that? Yep. Plonk. Try and get it in the centre. <laughs> And then some cheese on top. Now that I've got these done. Heaps of cheese. And then, literally, just fill What's them What's happening with the garlic on. powder? That's a garlic They're going to go last. And then we just roll up. Yep. Close up our parcel. We'll pop them on here temporarily because my plate's getting hot. And then you can keep rolling and I'll stuff, I reckon. I'm a good stuffer. Should yeah, I do anything to this or are they pretty good? They're just going to sit there and rise and... Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I haven't done it for about a year. So I literally just thought this morning, oh, I've got this way too much pasta sauce. So that's what I'll get rid of. So keep rolling. And I think I'll give you a little bit more there. I'll cut some more of this up, I reckon. Um, and so, and then I'll be able to say hello to everyone because I'm running a little bit behind. We even started late. Oh my God, you're lucky that we even made it. Here's something else fun today. I've got two roosters from the next door neighbor. Go Where's the hand go? Headless. And, um, and so I plucked my first two chalks from scratch and did all the fun stuff, you know, the gutting and all that sort of rubbish. I shouldn't say rubbish, it was good experience. So we've got a couple of big, well, they're not that big. They were just young roosters. Obviously, roosters are no good for anyone. They had five roosters, no good. So thank you to the neighbours, Pete and Leanne next door. Beautiful. And that one, so I reckon you roll and the next one I'll start rather than keep I wanna know which ones are mine. You can find that out, I think we'll know. Oh, you know what? I probably should roll too. Hey, okay, and then we'll just roll together. People who roll together? Stay together. Isn't that what they say? What you just <laughs> said. <laughs> you must have a big one. Small ones. Small ones are those. Jiggers are a bit easier. You're not being very good at sharing the ham, but I might be very good at sharing the cheese. There you go. Hunk of ham. Ham. How many of these are we going to put cheese. on? Cheese. Depends on how many fit. I reckon I'll get about nine. I want lots of cheese. So this recipe yesterday, guys, I'll share with you at some stage, but it took all the guesswork out of pretty much everything. It had some garlic in it. It had no onion. It was just mince and... Um, Should I flour that... Um is it starting to stick to you? Well, no. No, you're good. We're going to be quick. Oh. Yeah. Um, umami paste, I was going to say. What did I just call it? Um, sorry. I'm Try to throw it like pizza. I'm in a rush. 
Yeah, it's collapsing onto itself. <laughs> Alright, we won't do that. Certainly, that doesn't work. I've tried that myself, I'll tell you, oh, I'm hopeless at it. Flour? You want flour? Not you flour. have flour. Oh, yeah. My God, Jenny Ann. My God, I said. So because of the way they don't even have to be perfectly round or anything. Not Just at all. Just give yourself a nice big open. Oh, where's that one? Oh, I don't like it. I've got crap going everywhere. And don't care. The boys got to clean the floor and stuff after you guys go home. So no biggie. Easy, look at that. Stretch her up. Puff her over. Make sure your bottom's underneath, all sealed up. Don't want a sauce to leak out. Pop her underneath. Now, last time She's we did these, from memory, didn't ones. we let them sit for a little while and they sort of rose again? And I don't know that I did. Like I said, it's 12 months ago. I've done so many different things. I definitely did what I did. They love the way we just find out about stuff in front of you guys. We don't try it. Do we? Well, I don't think that they're critical. No, that's you know why we I mean? have to do it in front of these guys. You guys aren't critical, fortunately. Um, and you know what better way to learn than from somebody else's mistakes? So if it stuffs up on we'll us, we'll make them for you. Yeah, then you'll know that uh, you'll know what not to do. All right. I think I'm gonna more cheese. Hold back there. I'm singing again. You love it. I don't know. Yes, you do. No. I know you do. <laughs> I feel like I'm back on the show. I feel like I'm back on NKR. My you heart rates it. up. It seriously is. I am smashing out, smashing these out. I have no idea why. I've been rushing all day. So that's the only thing I can come up with. Get all the flour. Did you bring vodka back with you? Ford. Russian. <laughs> if I can't sing, you can't tell bad dad jokes. Unless you come up with a dad joke. Hey, let's do a, um, let's do a, a dad joke with Google. If everyone can hear our Google thing like the other night. Have you ever, have anyone that's got Everyone Google, who's got Google, get ready. Because this is so much fun. Hey Google, tell us a dad joke. Can you hear me? <laughs> hey Google, tell us a dad joke. I once stayed up all night trying to figure out where the sun went. Then it dawned on me. <laughs> She comes with her own canned laughter. Did you hear that? I once stayed up all night trying to work out where the sun went. Then it dawned on me. Oh, hey Google, tell us another dad joke. Oh, it's the bedroom one. She can hear me up in the bedroom. Listen to you. The bedroom one's answering. You need to talk to that one. Hey Google, tell us another dad joke. I have a pet tree. It's kind of like having a pet dog, but the bark is quieter. Oh no! And she is. She's did you hear that? She had a dog bark. She had a dog bark then. You're oh, funny, Google. No, you were too late. What am I doing, Han? All right, we're going to be close to. Actually, I don't know that. Oh, uh, your one will probably be the last one. Let's see how we go. I'll get the bowl out. Let me wash my hands. Getting into um, practice for the Italian feast that's about to come, I think. For righty then. Well, I'm doing the last one. We got all that cheese out for that one. Oh, sorry. Well, we'll still make the others. It just won't fit in the um, thing I've got. I don't reckon. What about that one? We'll see. Wait and see. It's never a science, is it, guys? You know what I mean? So. So I'll move this over to here. So there's a reason why you're going to put them on the round tray and not a square tray? Oh, because I've already preheated a stone one. Okay. That's Just all. asking. That's all. Because um, that is what I did it in last time. It was a post that I did back in May last year um, on our other channel. Yeah, get these in the oven, no time for dancing. Potsky. Here we go. Da, da, da. So, I reckon... Baking paper. Do you want baking paper? Yes. Okay. Let's do baking paper. Done. Alright. So, 
middle. And we want to work fast. So we're perfectly getting these to just sort of touch each other. And five. Two. Oh yeah, squash them up. Squash them in there. One. Two. Beautiful. Butters with, Butters with me. Foot rush. And just I threw them in. Literally. No recipe to that one. No. Nah. So, you know, if you're doing bread normally, you would do an egg wash. So, obviously, this isn't an egg wash, but it's. Um, it's a butter wash. It's about being the Italian side of things. That's why we put herbs and garlic in it. And then get ready. I don't know, 15 minutes. Something like that. We can chalk a load of rubbish. Or try and be Have a beer and have a natter. Tell a few dad jokes. I had the Father Christmas one come to mind. It's not really a dad joke. What's the Father Christmas one? Is it rude? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh that's why it's not a dad joke. Yeah. I gotcha. I love dad jokes. You know, um, boss walks into a bar. Bartender says, what's with the long face? It's not from the 1900s. I know, right? That's Nelly, my best friend's dad's one. That's old Ralphie's joke. I love it. I love it, Bobo. Hey, baby. Let's roll. <laughs> Let's pizza roll. Let's pizza roll. All right. All right, so that was preheated to 200 by the look of it. Yeah, you've got to back up. Got to drop that back to about 180, 180. I'm guessing. If you're never sure in an oven, 180. Yeah. Most things are 180. Unless it's meant to be scorchingly hot, like if you were doing um, ciabatta loaf or something, you want it at 240. Yeah. Um, so I'm starting... Last slow cook, bring it down to the 160. I'm starting that off for 13 minutes, because then I'm going to take a look and possibly turn it around, because that whole... I've been banging the uh, fan on, I'll put the light on. Now, that you're not going to sprinkle cheese, are you, later? No. So I'll put the cheese away while you... No, no, let's, do you think we should just make these three? Yeah, I do. Yeah, because we can just put them somewhere else. Get rid of the dog. So like I said guys, it was just um, in the bread maker, um, I... But how do you make bread without the bread maker? I use it, uh, my Kenwood with the dough cook. It's just as easy. All right, so, oh, Rosa. Now, I'm glad that I saw your name. Hey, Jodie Ann, how can I get your cranberry biscuit recipe, please? I've got the cranberries and macadamia. It's nice. So, That's a bit flash. Go to our web page, Rosa and uh, champagnefoodonabeerbudget.com.au and the recipe's there, you can print the recipe card off. Um, you'll see the picture of the, because we I post the lives on our webpage. Um, now also, I don't know if I thanked you for the seeds that you sent us from your dad, from the giant capsicums. So they arrived with another beautiful card. Thank you very much, everybody. That's who Rosa that we're talking to right at the moment. She makes these beautiful handmade cards. And oh, I saw that card of them. I thought it yeah. must be someone's birthday coming up or something. Mine. In December. 28th, everybody. Alright. Mine, so. October. 28th, Never. everybody. Oh, no. Peepy. Hello, legends. Um, Hi, everybody. Cords, yeah. Oh, Broken Hill. That's where she went. Where else to Broken Hill? Did you go out and see the Mad Max stuff? I and it's Silver. So. Sarah Colvin. How nice to see you, my hey, darling. That's, she's the smartest person that lives in Tarumbury, we reckon, because she's studying to be a um, lawyer. Um, hi guys, Rosa, sorry I'm late. So we're uh, apologising that we're just catching up with everybody now, but we just wanted to get everything cooked into the get oven. Get it in the oven. And um, then settle down, settle down with a, um, a champagne. Deb, dial tone, good to see you, Gorge. Evening all is Michelle from Profile Foods, uh, Pro Life Foods, who we love. Tori as well, good to see you. Heather. Are we making pizza pocket buns? Yes, we are. Yes, we are indeed. Rosa, go Nikki. Yeah, there we are. Chica. How bad are those dad jokes? <laughs> That's Kieran. I know, right? Uh, anyone throw up a good, chuck up a good dad joke while we're um, while we're chatting because I'll read them out. I got told oh, I told Google to get stuffed once. She didn't like it. Really? I don't know how I'd feel because we've got a bit of a relationship. You know what I mean? She's quite. She's nice to She's us. Yeah. We don't want to wreck the friendship. No. Isn't that 
stupid. She might tell us it's going to be sunny tomorrow when we go out. Christy Broadbent, beautiful thing. Are you home, Christy? Well, are you in Melbourne or are you at home? A little smiley. I even told it to get stuffed in Italian. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh, I'm making homemade cheese and spinach raviolis tomorrow. Yum. Yeah. So we were tossing up between a spinach and ricotta thing tonight, uh, but we're going to probably do it on Monday because I got given Warrigal Greens, which is um, like an Australian native spinach. So I'll show you all about that, guys, which is good. Gross I wanted to just nice. do the garlic and cheese ones because they're yeah. really fun full of parts for parties and then I can just smash them. <laughs> what has eight legs and meows? Go on. Cat on a hot tin roof. No, I can't think. Eight no. legs. Eight. Well, it's two cats. Two cats. Do you know? I haven't got a clue. What has t what has eight legs and meows, please, Rosa? This would be a joke, not a questionnaire. <laughs> All right. Now we'll get started with Izzy's there. Sam, of course. Trace. How are you, Trace? Jade and Erin Tiama too. Hello, Jade, my cousin. Rach Taylor is watching. That's lovely. Marie Louise Ori is watching as well. I've still got to put um, money into that vet's account for you too. It's sitting in a, in a side account, so I've got to do that. What did you just shush for? Nothing. Nothing. Um, Eddie Olick. Always good to see you, lovely. John Abaddon, we've got some meat. Well, we've got a fair bit of meat today, John. Um, Tanya Gilson, cheers. Cheers to you too. Stewie Gledhill, good to see you. Ronnie Williams, you beautiful, beautiful man. Hiya, buddy. Always love seeing our Uncle Ronnie. We keep saying we're going to get over there. We will get over there. We will. We will get over there. Um, Janine well, you can is... come over here too. Yes, well, we've always got spare rooms. Um, Janine is the one that suggested us doing a live cook-along, which I think we should do. Having had a practice at one last night, it's pretty easy. Um, they look good, fun. Of course they do. Yeah. They look um, better in 15 minutes. An octopusy. <laughs> Very good. I like it. How to try and make holy water. You boil the hell out of it. <laughs> Very good. That's from Smiley. Um, Anita Heard just joined as well. <laughs> I, I don't know dad jokes. Oh, Blakey's here too. What did I just see you doing, Blake? Something that I was quite He's proud of. He's pairing cheeses. Yes. Cheeses and wines. I Very saw you the report. Very you. Well done. Lovely. I hope you're still watching that you heard us say that. Um, come on. Who's on Facebook that hasn't? Adam Williams has just joined. Isabel Addy as well. Um, how grateful Mick asked Edward about singing here. No, be grateful, Mick. Ask Edward about singing here. <laughs> I thought him. of Edward. I was going to tell my joke, but I thought of Edward, but it probably wouldn't offend him. Oh, here we go, Mum's. Um, oh, what is so much more exciting than the Dales Tigers getting thrashed? Hi, lovelies. Um, well, Sainer's absolutely pumped it on Sunday night too, so I was pretty happy about that. So Mum's just joined and she's giving a... Um, um, well, she's having a laugh at herself, I would suggest. I made quiche today and forgot to put the cheese in it. <laughs> she That'd be a good cheese. So I think they just call that an omelette, Ma. She, yeah, no, that's what I said. It's called <laughs> an egg pie. But she had smoked salmon in it, so apparently it was not too bad. It got eaten. So. I made Jodie an omelette the other day and she thought it was pretty damn good. Oh, my God. Susie from Niagara Falls has just joined in. Good morning, lovely. Because that's over in Canada. Oh, yeah, good you're morning. still freezing cold, I bet. Um, yeah, Mick made the best. What did you do? That was so good. Just packed overs as we do, so it was just capsicum. It was something that was really yummy. Um, I remember my joke. What did I do? Cooked up capsicum in the pan. Can't remember, see? There, can't remember. That's what happens. And that's what happens. Jesse says we don't forget this one because I really like it. Yeah, I want it again. I've forgotten it. Yeah, it was really, really good. And it capsicum, had crispy edges. Chives. Yeah, yeah, yep. Cheese, of course. Smiley, what do you much. call someone with no body and no nose? <laughs> Nobody, Nobody knows. knows. <laughs> oh, you're good at Heather saying hi. I'm looking down there. Heather saying hi, Ma, because she's on Insta. Nobody knows. I like that one. Um, here what we do go. you call a deer with no eyes? Yeah, I'll never replace that one. No idea. What about no eyes and no legs? Still no idea. What do you call a deer with no 
Legs or eyes? Uh, I know, no, that one I don't know. It won't come. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was ears. Oh, I don't know. Now, here we go. Shona, my sister in law's just joined. Hello, Benny Teasdale. Um, Sam is saying, I'm no Google, but anytime Edward cracks it, he always says, I'm not happy. So I ask him, if you're not happy, which dwarf are you then? <laughs> I like that. Grumpy. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that sort of makes me wish I had kids. Um, hello, Mandy Sidebottom. Best cake extraordinaire. And Leah Kennedy. Say hello to your beautiful husband, please, over in WA. Sharon Bainbridge is just joined. Hope you guys are going well over WA. Yeah, same. Evening, guys. Hope you're both well from Shaz Bainbridge. Porsche's joke. What's the difference between a snowman and a snow lady? Well, clearly, the I don't know. Does a snowman have two carrots? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. You'll have to fill us in on that one. Please. Um, Andrew C just joined. How are we going? We've run out of jokes, everybody. Try, we'll have to try Google for another one. Come on, Jade. Hey, Google. Me in Tell us a dad joke. What does a frog do if his car breaks down? He gets it towed away. <laughs> Did you hear that one? What? Let us know if you can hear Google. We don't know if you can hear it, so we're going to have to repeat it. Yeah. What's a frog do if he breaks down? He gets it towed away. <laughs> if his car breaks down, I think. If his car breaks down, yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Still no answer to the snowman and snow lady, people. Melissa's saying hello as well. Come on. Fill us in. This is killing me. Can't we just try that oh, on the next phone on another show? Try Hey Google beam me up, Scotty. Google makes a noise or something. Try it. Hey Google, beam me up. Scotty. Scotty. Okay, energize. Faster spinner. There we go. Um, well, has anyone else got any fun? Yes, it did work, thank you. Can you make the noise yes, of the laser? Doing my job. Jo, just doing her job. Tell us any other funny ones. Can hear Google. Thank you, Smiley. Um, do you want to just throw that one another tin or something? Uh, yeah, a little round one. Look like what? What's the small? Yeah, that'll be. How we look at them? They're different. looking good. Bit of paper. And we'll end up with the burnt fingers because we'll have to get into them really quick to show you. Jokes. Sam and Colvin's just joined. How are you, Sambo? Hopefully we can get back to the yeah, pub. Yeah, we're going to get back to the pub and catch up with all you guys. Do you, have you bought your um, pint things, the CUB things, for the pub? Here we go. The pub, back them up. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the toilet? Because the pee's silent. Because pterodactyl is spelt P T E R O D A C T Y L. Because <laughs> the P is silent. Very good. Um, how's my neck? Well, it had been good, and then yesterday and today it's just starting to tweak a bit, but I've had a heat pack on it again today. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you for asking. I feel like I need to go back, but um, here we go. No. Hang on. We've got one from. We've got an answer from Jade yet? No. Jade! What are oh, you dear, doing? You can't tell a joke and not tell us the punchline. Yeah, it's like saying I've got a secret. Oh, no, I can't tell you. Um, but why does Santa carry such a big sack? Why does Santa carry such a big sack? No, well, it comes once a year. That was the dad joke that he wasn't allowed to tell. Please don't ask for an explanation. Edward, you don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. Got to fit a lot of presents in it. <laughs> Why couldn't the bicycle stand by itself? It was too tired. <laughs> oh. Hey, Nelly's here. Hello, Hi, Nelly. beautiful girl. Yes, my bestie. Oh, you weren't going to share her for a second then, were you? No, I was going to say my Nelly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she wasn't going to share you. <laughs> We're in the midst of telling dad jokes, but we've already told your dads. So. Oh, I can go too. <laughs> Rosa got it. Oh, I should see these other ones. Looking good. <laughs> so, 
So I dance and no, I sing and he dances. Do you I wasn't reckon a dancer. Was just... Should be turned. Do you reckon? So they're going to rise enough, I reckon. They're going to rise and fill out that tray, be good pull apart. Yum. So I'll show you this mint. Yum. I'd like to know what other people think about it because I'm a bit. We're super rich. I know what your problem was was the um, star anise. You thought it was fennel. Ah, uh, yeah, and I felt like a, I'm not a big fennel fan. Yeah. So that was... Emily Bartlett and Seedy's just joined in. We haven't seen Ian Seedy forever. He's one of our very good friends. Um, Had a beer with the boys the other night, Seedster? Yes, he did. Monday. Monday, of course. It was Monday. What does a vegetarian eat? Oh, I don't get that. Grains. Is that like brains? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Oh. <laughs> that's, that's a dad joke. That's, um... Heather liked your joke, that's too. That's on the edge. Sam, has he got Fred for an uncle... Mick, I promise that joke is fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, very true. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. I knew that. Next time we catch up, remind me to tell you what Uncle Fred taught him. Oh, I probably don't want to know. Oh, yeah, so I can't imagine. So this is an, an ex-local, Fred and Betty, and they are the most hilarious couple going around. Um, but Fred's mouth is is uh, fairly untidy. He's been kicked off Facebook about 100 times. Yeah. So, and poor old Ned's, uh, Edward. Well, how old is Edward now? 11 or something? Fred's a bit of an old. I know, but he's been, he's been hanging around since he was knee high. So, yeah. Silicon mat. All right, come on. I want these things to cook now. Clear the bench. Well, let's do that. Sorry, guys, Damn, it's boring, but anyway. There's always no, time for more dad jokes. Bench. There's always time for more dad jokes. Please, or anything funny. I don't think I've got any exciting news. Well, I kind of have, but I can't say anything at the moment. Huh. What did I just say about people telling secrets? Yeah, that's a horrible thing to do. <laughs> um, hope more news next You're going to announce a winner tonight? Yes, we are going to announce a winner tonight. So there'll be a winner announced tonight. Oh, geez, that's going to be a tough one because I know who I reckon deserves a win. Yes. Oh. Mmm. Um, oh, what's that? Oh, just garlic. Sorry, love. Don't wash that, of course. Don't even wash your... Um, your um, rolling pins, guys. Just give them a dust off. You want to keep a little bit of a pick any dry pasta or anything that you've got on there off, but you don't want to don't want to immerse it in water. Not if you've got wooden ones. I should clarify because I've got a super expensive. Those ones obviously wood. Not bad, right? So that reminds me of your uh, which we have thrown again. Mick made, Mick, it's out in the shed. When we first moved in here 18 and a half years ago, we were putting stuff away. We ran out to, you know, taking things out to the shed. And Mick made a... By the way, that I made a boomerang. He made a boomerang. And guess what? He threw it. We've got 20 acres. He threw it out over the paddock. And I thought, well, it's going to be funny watching him go and collect it. And the bloody thing came back. That's what boomerangs do. <laughs> I'd never seen it before. But he had made it. When he was, what when you were on? About 13. It was made in, it's, I burnt into it. Um, 19... 86? 86, no, 80, 84. 3 or 4, yeah. 84. 1984, I mean. We found it again the other day. I said, you've got to throw it again. I'm not kidding. He stood there and threw it and went two steps over and caught it. I was absolutely, I thought I'd bloody married a gem here, haven't I? <laughs> you can make a big <laughs> ring, throw it and it comes back. I couldn't believe it. Anyone think this is amazing? That's what boomerangs do. Well, the tigers are getting slaughtered apparently, so that's no good. Uh, what have we got? E note Casolino joined. Hello, I hope I've pronounced that right, and please don't think I'm rude if I haven't. How many tickles to make an. This is a good one. This is little Ned. How many tickles to make an octopus laugh? Ten tickles. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a really good one. Oh my goodness me. Um, he not long turned 10. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's pretty good. Mum just asked if I'm pregnant. No. Oh, yeah, like I would be. 
<laughs> you were weeping for a week after I had all that stuff removed, remember? What? Hello, Mick and Jodie Ann. What, uh, what do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> I remember that one from when I was a kid. Hello, Mick and Jodie Ann. Oh, Kayla. Hello, Kayla. Oh, better just check. No, not quite brown yet, guys. So sorry about that. Mind you, I'd say we're pretty well ahead of time. Eight thirty-six, not too bad. Geez, we're going to be bloody cleaned up before uh, before we're finished oh, tonight. Let's have a beer. Um, well, I suppose what we can do is um, if I grab the card. Sorry, we just had to verify something there because Flesh, fleshly. I've had half a glass of champagne. I can't even talk. Um, so, guys, without competition, don't forget. I'll be back on screen in a second. But oh, mum's, <laughs> mum's saying <laughs> that's a family joke because I've always said I was never going to have kids. Whenever I'd say to mum, "Oh, I've got a surprise, have a guess," mum would go, "What? Don't tell me you're pregnant." So, <laughs> mum's. So she wasn't calling you fat. No, M. Cole. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, Chicky. Shane Williams. How's that caravan going? Hello, Shane Williams. Another local, so another Williams. So Colvins and Williams, is all, it's all a family thing going on at the moment. Our Shane Williams was on TV on Monday night. Ch Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday was. night. I think it was called. And he missed it. <laughs> and he missed it. It was called Burlesque Boys. It was on SBS. So if you um, do that SBS catch up thing, look up Burlesque Boys, or yeah, I think that's what it was called. Um, yeah, it was quite. It was quite interesting. So, anyone out there who doesn't know about our competition, um, oh, we are giving away easy. thirty dollar Coles vouchers for anyone who copies one of our past um, cooks that we've done. It doesn't have to be about who does the nicest, best job. Um, it's just about knocking just one about up, having a go. Anyone who has a go. Make sure you tag us in it and tell us a little bit about what you thought of either the recipe or something that funny happened during the cook or something that you exchanged or um, you obviously just got another joke, have you? Jade couldn't answer. So we were yelling at Jade, this is my cousin, that was talking about snowman and snowwoman. What's the difference? So she's had to go onto Instagram to say I couldn't reply on Facebook. She's not sure why. Um, so the difference between a snowman and a snow lady Snowballs. Snow <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I love it. So it's not about the character. Oh, one of them's got snowballs. And, and the other one's got snowballs. Yeah, got snowballs. <laughs> snow ladies, snowballs. Uh, that's hilarious. I love it. So, yes. Winners will be announced on Thursday. Anyone who copies one of our recipes, we've done that many now. We've forgotten. Yeah. And not many that. Not a lot of people are doing it, so it increased your chance of winning. So have yes. a go at it. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there, gang. I reckon another. We don't want to go to the early minutes. crow. Why don't we go to the early crow on something recently? We thought a little bit longer was better. Yeah, I think we might have told you when we cooked the next, the following week. It was something. A little bit longer. Oh, it was my uh, two minute noodles. Was two. Eight minute, two minute noodles. Yes. So we obviously cooked them in the microwave for the eight minutes. But when I did them in the pan, we after you guys left, because it was too busy catching up and talking to you guys, I cooked them a little bit longer in the pan, which I kind of wanted to do. Gave them a crunch And it just gave them a bit more of that 50% um, crunch. So we make mistakes. Um, Frank is good. That's M's caravan. Oh, that's good. Because she bought a Franklin, so that she called Frankie. I was talking to Gav uh, last night. Uh, we're going to catch up. Probably going to look at the new <laughs> house. One. We're going to see where my Ooh, bedroom is. No. So, we've got another one. What is Forrest Gump's password? This is a good one. One Forrest one. <laughs> one Forrest one. I love it. Oh, what's a Shih Tzu? So I want you to just start a bloody joke page. This has been pretty good. I love good jokes though. Um, you go, Google go. Hey Google. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. Janine said to, say, to, to ask something. Janine, Janine, Janine. Janine. Hey Google. Widgery, um, 
Hey Google, have you read any good I books lately? Like Witchery locations near you. The first one is Witchery Shepparton at Stop. Fraser Street, Shepparton. Cancel. Stop. Stop. The second one is Witchery. Hey Google. Google. Stop. Touch. Touch. That's it. It just starts. All right. Cancel. <laughs> Looking for a witchery shop. Um. So try to wear it. Hey Google, have you read any good books lately? Hey Google, have you read any good books lately? I can show you the top books for every decade. Huh. That wasn't funny. Don't know if that was worked out was meant to work, you know, but anyway. Hey Google, tell us a dad joke. Let's go back to the present. I have a pet tree. It's kind of like having a pet dog, but the bark is quieter. Oh. Oh. We've already had that one. Before. M. Cole, beers at Gabs. Yep, sounds good. Gabs coming out on the weekend if you want to. Yeah, if you want to come out with him on the weekend, uh, probably Saturday. I'll give him a call tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I said, what does she do? <laughs> a zoo with no animals. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny one. Oh, these are winners. So. And I won't remember any of them. Talking on it. Talking to winners. You can announce this song. I'm going to do the drum roll. So you can do a better drum roll than me. Drum roll's aren't easy. I've got no musical talent. At I don't all. think you need musical talent. I think you just need speed wrists. Oh, wow. There you go. It says a lot, doesn't it? So it's smiling. Again! So she's won it twice, people. So you need to be in it to win it. She did okay. our cookies. And she didn't have cranberries, so she replaced them with sultanas. She did a little video and a vlog thing on it on her own little webpage. Look fantastic. And they looked great and she thought that they were fantastic too. So congratulations, Smiley. Again, you're a well winner. Done. So but like we say, guys, gotta be in it to win it. All you gotta do is take a couple of photos. Now we know that one of our followers was gonna do our um and say risotto balls. What do we do Monday? Arancini. Our arancini balls. Now when you guys left, we actually threw them in the deep fryer and did a little par um, deep fryer on them too so that we could throw them in the freezer. Yeah, and so we've frozen all of ours really now. Really good. Yeah. So just a quick par fry for all the rest of them, pulled them out, drained them off, put them in the freezer. We've tried a couple in, thrown them in the oven um, and we've tried a couple of deep fry again. Yeah. Free. So that's another good one. Muzz has just joined but we've got another... Um... <laughs> Hey Mars, oh, happy birthday to your so beautiful rich. daughter for the other day. Trace, Tracy's just saying you're making my Google go crazy. Sorry. <laughs> just sitting asking, hey Google, hey Google. Shivers. Never thought about that. Well, we did for the same thing. So yeah. Sam's saying, if a kid refuses to sleep at nap time, are they guilty of resisting arrest? Oh. I love it. So close. Give him a show. Because then we'll just show that we're going to chuck back two seconds. Oh, and close that. It's bloody hot. So we're going to go a little bit longer. Just needs a bees more. So I want them done before you guys have to go though. I might, I'm might. i going to burn up the heat a little. No, it'll only be another couple of minutes. I still will. One, two, three. Done. Excellent. So well done, Smiley. Yeah, congratulations, Smiley. You did a great job on that. And I loved your little video. Um, yeah, it was good. Sam saying well deserved, smiley, the Vickies looked awesome, they did, didn't they? They did, they looked really good. And the Sultanas, that's what we love to see. They were just coming up with a really good little alternative. Thanks, Jilly. Likes my yellow jeans. And we've actually done a few cookies and we've both been talking about it. I reckon probably goes down as one of the easiest, nicest cookies. And we're thinking that we will probably end up using that recipe on champagne food on a beer budget the TV show. So you guys will have seen it first. Yeah, it Doesn't mean that when the show comes out, you're not allowed to watch it though. You gotta sit there yeah, and sit go. There. Oh, I saw him do this. I saw him do that live in the kitchen. So yeah, um, Michelle saying congratulations to Smiley. Everyone's congratulating Smiley. Oh, Smiley's blushing. That's so sweet. Um, you've got Shane McClellan is watching. Holy shit! Everyone oh, I'd from find the, that hard to believe. Everyone from Drumbury is joining in. This is amazing. Well, you know, more likely to be on Dre's pinched his phone. Oh really? She's got her own. Mm. I either need ice in that or a refill. Oh, I know. A refill. Thanks, baby. You're the best. So, I've already got your address, Smiley, so I will shoot that out to you. Um, and like I said, guys, you just got to be in it. You've got to knock up a recipe. None of them are hard, are they? 
Um, well, most of them aren't hard, so. Well, if you think about it, we've done it in under an hour with you guys. So that means you can make yourself a $30 gift card for under an hour. Exactly. And then you get a nice little postcard from us as well with some nice comments and stuff. Have you didn't use the champ did you use the champagne food or deer budget one? Yeah. yeah. Nice. That was what Smiley post the picture, remember? Very good. Yeah. So I want to hear a joke about paper. She held it upside down, I remember. Oh no. Want to hear a joke about paper? Never mind, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jane McClellan, you'd have to know a good dad joke. You actually, you probably wouldn't. You just no. know a rude one. Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use a honeycomb. <laughs> oh, that is, see, I love dad jokes. That's so funny. Oh, Rhett, Rhett, you'd have to have, no, Rhett. No, you wouldn't have dad jokes. Either. Well, he's got to have, he's a <laughs> He's not allowed to tell here. jokes. Um, Rhettley, I've got to tell you, that picture that you posted yeah, with all the kids at, um, uh, is it the youngest one's third birthday or fifth birthday or something? One of the one of the kids that was sitting on your knee, the second one in, is the spitting image of Leanne, your missus. And I don't, you know, a lot of families don't pick who looks like who until you point something out. This little girl is the spitting image of her grandmother, Leanne. It was quite mind blowing. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry guys, you don't know what I'm talking about, but it's just, Trying to be inclusive. Heck, I hope I remember that one. That is so funny. Right, see where we're ready at. Okay, Sal, Sal's just joined in. Good to see you, Sal. Can you come over to one and visit us and be one of our guests? We'd love to have you in the kitchen here. It'd be amazing. Here we go. Close enough, you reckon? Yeah. It's gonna be. I'll bring it out to you guys. Oh, we have to let it cool for a bit. You want to grab a rack out, actually? No. So, are you going to try and pull it apart? Or are you just well, going to just it help it cool the... so that okay. you can. So there you go. Look at that. Imagine putting that out on the plate for everyone to just have a, a pull apart on. Boom! They're nice and hollow. Well, they're not hollow because obviously they're full, but they've got that dense sound to them. So I think we'll just... Uh, that one's ooh. been overfilled, but that's alright. Oh, look at that. I said that to it. Yeah, a couple. I thought they might stick together like a pull apart. Oh. Let them cool, let them cool. Okay. Be cool, man, be cool. <laughs> Are you listening? Look at that, magic tricks. Who's been watching Big Brother? I'm addicted. Who cares? Me! You're hooked as well. I want to eat one, I want to eat one. <laughs> what do you call a dinosaur that just ran a marathon? My fetosaurus. <laughs> That's from Portia. That's my little niece. She's little. Look at that one. Oh, that's hot. They're all going to be stifling. All Very hot. But you know what? Pretty good fingers there, Hulk. That is so pillowy. It's amazing. So I think what we're going to end up having to do is actually we'll put one on a plate, cut it in half so that you guys can actually see it. I'll pick on that one. Oh, there you go. Everyone's saying it looks good. Put that on there because it's cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Jeff Daltone's loving it. Oh, oh look. We've got all stringies. That's what you want, I reckon. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah, good job. But, got a little hole, a little plate. I've got another plate, I've got another plate. Oh, sorry, you're just gonna do a cut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just cut one open, because we're running out of time. I'm gonna put a sharp knife through it. Yes, please. So look, you could have gone smaller if you wanted to, but we sort of wanted them to have um, a fair bit of filling in it. You know what I mean? But if you if you were doing, um, if you had well, plus we had leftover sauce that we wanted to finger use. Finger food or something like that. You could make them smaller, but obviously the smaller you make them, the less stuff you're going to be able to fill into it. So, Woo, look at that. Just push that bit of pan back in. Yeah, I pulled it out a little bit with the knife. But. 
So obviously you wouldn't cut into them quite this quick and early. They're steaming Steven. in front of us. But they're a nice full pizza pocket. Hey, how's that? I was going to tell a pizza joke, but decided not to, as it's a bit cheesy. <laughs> clever, oh, clever, no. joke of the night, on point. No, and mum's saying, cousin, we just call her our niece, because she says Auntie, uh, Uncle Mick and Auntie Jodie Ann. Um, Crystal is here as well. So anyway, I, I, I think it's going to be a little bit dangerous to eat, but... I like it would be too. I'll tell you what, the bread is magnificent. That is really good. It's worth the risk. It's not that hot. It's really hot. It's steam coming out of it. Mm. Try it out. Really good. So much fun. Mm. Oh, no, not that hot. You went straight into the middle, didn't you? Oh, well, well I told you to go to the end. That, because then it was cooler. I don't always do what you say. <laughs> ah, stringy! Good. Excellent. So here we are. Pizza pockets, guys. While you're watching. So I'm pretty puffed. Pretty puffed. Puffed. Chuffed. Uh, I'm happy about that. One. I know. I've had one champagne. I promise you I haven't had a well, single hop, thing. Hop, hop. Beer, beer, beer. Beer and pizza, beer oh, and pizza. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, oh. yeah, here we go. What do you call a man with no arms and no legs in your saucepan? Bob! Oh, that's in your pool, isn't it? Um, Mel, night shave, I'm going to make our car your caramelised onion dip for a barbecue we're having on Saturday. Well, that's for on time, I'm dancing around with well. my mouth. Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, about oh, sitting go. around with my mouth open. Tracy's saying we're totally having these for tea tomorrow. Send us a photo. What there you, you go, you can make dinner and win a competition. Noodle. Oh no, what do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> Linda Fagan's just joined and we're about to sign on out. So that's a real shame. Um, guys. Well, I think that's a um, that's a really good little fun recipe. Like, And I'd say that's a wrap. Like, we've done I kind of feel bad for anyone pocket. who doesn't have a bread oven. I think anyone should, because making your own bread is mm. just- Bread machine. The best, the bomb. Bread machine, maybe. Yeah, bread machine. Mm. But if not, making your own dough is very easy. And you can buy them second hand. Like no science to it. You just saw us just roughly cut it apart, roll it out, fold them over. No magic glues or anything. Wrap it up, throw it onto a plate. And that's purely because we had leftover um, mince, well, spaghetti mince. You could put, you could put, if you had some um, tuna stuff. Maybe some chicken well, casserole or... Those little balls we did, it's the same thing really, isn't it? Other than you mix it through the dough, didn't we? The um, cheesy pull yeah. parts? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you so just, we just mix the cheese in through it, made little balls and just stacked them on top of each other. They oh, were loaded blue. with... Um, we put cheese all through the in between them. We oh, we did that, too. That we might have to so make that one. Rich. We might have to make that one on. They are, they're fun. Because it was very honestly, rewarding. if you had people over, and you put that on the table, it looked really good. People can pull it apart. And it was the bomb. Yeah, it was, I posted a photo of that, got heaps of comments. Um, it was the bomb. These yeah. are good, go good with these. Imagine having one of them, it's like a pizza and garlic bread. But he's coming back on talk soon. <laughs> Food looks oh, sharp. Bye. That's now that, yeah, Phew, gotta go. <laughs> I love you. Uh, just stay my own home. That's all good, looks delicious. Enjoy the pizza pockets. See you soon, I'm tipping you've gotta to go to work. Peanut butter mousse sound amazing. Peanut butter mousse. Hey guys, I'll have totally to get Edward mousse. to give me the rundown on tonight's show. Claire Taylor's just joined and we're about to go as well. Oh, hang on, she's currently eating peanut butter mousse, huh? You need to get on to Jodie Ann and tell her how easy it is to make soap. Oh yeah, I'd love to, oh, yeah, for sure. All right, guys, well, we might, um, we might bail out too. We might eat these. Well, yeah. This one's cooled down a bit. Mmm, got a bit cheesy with them. The, um, do you want me to post a recipe for the dough? Maybe, I was going to post a recipe. Because I'd already made the dough. Um, Throw it up. Yeah. Throw it down with milk and chai food. Absolutely. And fill it with anything that you want to fill it with. Mm. I reckon. It's like anything we try and do. We try and come up with recipes that are quick and easy. It gives you a baseline to play with and do what you like. Yeah. Yeah. So like Smiley did, made our biscuits, didn't have cranberries, used sultanas, sultanas instead. 
if you make these someone's talking put, about they're going to make them and they're putting almonds on them too right that'd be beautiful almonds would be beautiful on them there you go love it when people do that sort of stuff yeah these are good um, um the, this is better than your pasta what do you call a man with no arms and no legs in your saucepan stew oh <laughs> Very good. Very All right, good. time check. Four minutes to go till we get cut off anyway. So let's say good night to everybody. We'll say so, good night. So, bye bye, boys. It seems to have gone super fast today. We've been busy. We had to squeeze this one in. That's why we had to have the dough ready and we did. pump it out. It's been heaps of fun with Googling and, uh, and the jokes. Dad jokes. Thanks, guys, for, for joining in. That was really good. Rose is already saying good night. Uh, yes, please, for the recipe. Cool. So I will, I'll do the recipe for the dough, guys. So that you know, um, don't forget um, to mm -hmm. jump on mm -hmm. champagnefoodonabeerbudget.com.au. Sign up because any um, blogs that I do, and I usually only do blogs when I've got something really major to share, um, you'll get a notification. Um, and that's where all our live videos are. And then you can also copy the recipe as well. So do that. Um, tell your friends to join us on a Monday and a Thursday. We hit 1,500 followers yesterday. Which was nice. We'd like a few more. 15,000. Oh, that'd be way too hard. We'd, yeah, it's nice having our nice little group. A few yeah. more would be nice, but you know what? Um, let's share the love. Thank you to Coles over at Kangaroo Flat. Very much Kelly. thank you to Coles. And um, we will see you after a long weekend helping someone move. We'll see you on Monday night. I might be on my own. Jodie might be on her own. We'll it's see a, how we go. Yeah. Mick's going to be doing a lot of heavy lifting on and Monday. Some... Possibly in the rain. So anyway, Sam Frank Johnson, very sorry, but we're about to head off. I'll post a photo of this in about an hour. It'll be empty. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, you take care. Thank you very much again. I'll have to come back over here to As sign always. off, everybody. Hey,